I'm Michelle Farr. I'm a researcher from the University of Bristol. So we wanted to find out what difference having smartphones made to survivors of modern slavery and trafficking. Since COVID, um, lots of people have been relying on digital technology to communicate, but not everybody actually has access to, um, to digital technology. So we wanted to address issues of digital exclusion. So the project started um, with uh, BT and Unseen collaborating uh, to provide 100 smartphones to survivors of modern slavery and trafficking. And they approached the University of Bristol to understand um, what impact that actually would have on survivors. My name's Kate Garbers. I'm a former director at the charity Unseen and currently an independent modern slavery consultant. The charity Unseen is an anti-slavery organisation that has been set up to work towards a world without slavery. It does three main things, direct survivor support, equipping frontline professionals with training, resources and advice, and then influencing government policy. So modern slavery in essence is the commodification of people for someone's financial gain or their personal gain. So in the UK, modern slavery is seen as an umbrella term that encompasses forced or compulsory labour, slavery and human trafficking and there is thought to have been 10,600 potential victims in the UK last year. Unseen was working with BT um, and BT were our founding partners at the helpline. They've always been interested in working out how they can help survivors more and more and they came to us with a proposal around what it would look like if they were able to provide survivors with access to mobile phones and to technology. Um, and I met Michelle and discussed the project with her and she and her team were really keen to come on board and advise us to make sure that we could kind of evaluate the project well um, and also kind of interview people really well and understand the impact that having a phone had had on them. And the really good thing about this research was it made sure that survivor voices were at the heart of what we were doing and that we really understood what the difference was to them to having the mobile phones. The project was fundamentally about issues of inclusion. Unseen survivors often didn't have access to a smart mobile technology and so this project actually made sure that people could have access to that technology through the pandemic. Uh, we've, we've found that actually having phones makes a massive difference to people in terms of their um, independence, being able to use translation services, uh, being able to still access doctors, uh, support services, legal services, uh, makes a difference in terms of their school children, being able to talk to schools uh, and keep in contact, um, the things that everybody takes for granted every day. This is just a small pilot project within the local area and we want to explore how we can actually make these results uh, nationally relevant and an impact policy. Even before we've published the report uh, we've spoken with the independent anti-slavery commissioner about early findings to explore how we can actually make a difference to policy and practice. I think it was really important to have the university and Michelle and her team on board to evidence the independence of the findings and the impact that was had on the survivors. Um, I think the findings are showing us that having access to technology and being able to connect is really important for everybody and survivors of slavery are no different. This was especially highlighted during the pandemic but is also relevant outside of pandemic times. And I think what we're hoping to do is to put the argument together that actually having access to technology, mobile devices, should be a standard part of all support and all care that survivors um, are allowed access to. So ultimately the reason why I was so passionate about this project was because it would make a difference to people's lives in practice and we hope that through the impact that we can achieve, everybody who is a survivor of modern slavery can access the digital technology they need to be able to support their own independence and recovery.